This is a historical, a historical power that's rooted in hundreds of years of, um, of struggle, really, between the forces of tyranny and control on one hand and the forces of freedom and self-determination on the other. This has nothing to do with the Constitution uh, or the Founders. This predates them. Hi everybody, so today I'd like to talk to you about the, the idea of uh, jury nullification. It's also called jury rights or jury independence or also fully informed juries. Now um, this is basically the idea um, that juries have the power, jurors, even an individual juror has the power to, uh, when he serves on a jury, he can judge not just the, the, the facts of a given case, not just decide whether or not a person um, committed a murder or, or acted in self-defense, not just whether a person uh, trafficked marijuana or not, but also to judge the law that the person is accused of and to say um, you know, that if he doesn't agree with that law, um, that he doesn't have to find the, the accused uh, guilty, <clears throat> that he can follow the dictates of his conscience in rendering his verdict of guilty or not guilty. Um, now this is a historical, a historical power that's rooted in hundreds of years of, um, of struggle really between the forces of tyranny and control on one hand and the forces of freedom and self-determination on the other. This has nothing to do with the Constitution uh, or the Founders. This predates them. Of course, this power existed and was, was recognized, widely recognized in their time. Um, but this goes back to the time of the Magna Carta. Yeah? Before this, it was Star Chamber stuff. Yeah? Um, you went in there and the judges had absolute power. They weren't your peers. They were the upper class. So. Um, the stakes here are pretty darn serious, yeah? Um, so some people say, well, it's not really a right of the jury, it's just a de facto power. Okay, that's fine, it's the same thing for me. When you're a juror, no matter what the judge says to you, no matter what the prosecutor, no matter what anybody says to you, not even your fellow jurors, you have the absolute power to decide which verdict you will vote for and you don't need a majority majority of the jury in criminal cases so you can be the only one voting not guilty and you can carry the day you can have that person uh, found uh, not guilty um, so uh, and, and you know so 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 what George what, what's the big deal about this you know well this is an effective way for us to protect things like uh, the right to, to cultivate medical marijuana to consume it to sell it this is the way for us to effectively nullify uh, laws against, um, you know, carrying firearms in certain places. Um, this is a way for us to nullify all the political crimes on the books, the crimes where um, they're not really crimes, where there's no victim, they're victimless crimes. This is a way for us to um, work within the system, actually, to get um, greater justice, to inject a little bit of greater justice into the state and justice system, uh, which has become so lopsided over time where prosecutors have like 98% win rates, conviction rates, it's just insane. Um, and so we can save real people, we can save real live people here. And as many of you know, um, you know, a lot of people in the community came to their libertarianism after having a run-in with the government. And so not only can we, can we save people, not only we, can we give the prosecutor and the judge a, a whole heck of a lot of butt hurt, which is always fun, but we can also grow our community by freeing people, literally freeing people from a government cage and, and having the chance for them then to understand what happened to them and, and, and become libertarians and join our communities. So uh, how is this done? Yeah? And how do I do it without getting arrested? Well, I have an article up at Shield Mutual, shieldmutual.com. Uh, go check it out uh, over there. I have the link here. I've done interviews with multiple experts on this topic, um, activists, scholars. Um, and uh, this is your chance to learn from all of them 
uh, and I as part of as a Shield Mutual deliverable, I am setting up the Jury Rights Project, which is going to be an international decentralized organization of jury rights activists. And my goal is to have jury rights activism, pamphleting, um, billboards, uh, TV and radio ads, whatever it takes, going on all around uh, the country, all around the world uh, over the next few years so that um, you know, we can have an effective and consistent and organized um, way to combat government tyranny. Not, not at the ballot box, no, and not in the, um, the ammunition box either, but at the jury box. Yeah? Let's make that jury box work for us. Thanks for listening. Get protected today at shieldmutual.com.